Hi guys, welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. I'm Elle. If you've been watching me, this is a bit of a different video. Today is actually a Sisty Talks episode if you're watching on YouTube. And I have this little microphone here because I want the audio to be good. I'm trying to keep it like next to my mouth, but it's like super close and awkward. Um, but I'm a first time podcaster but if you're listening it's finally happening i have always wanted to do podcasts all my life and i really have loved community-centered podcasts they bring me so much joy and so i am looking at my little laptop here for my notes but yeah i really hope that this podcast sparks some genuine conversations around ethical fashion around sustainable change and around intersectional solutions because we really need them and so this podcast will be hosted by me i'm el magaña mireles i'm just a girl um <laughs> and yeah i also have a youtube channel and i have a lifestyle blog called sustainable amor and yeah this podcast really invites you to join me on just a more mindful journey towards ethical style and loving the planet in the process. And I am also going to be hosting, or maybe if you're already watching this, I am hosting Streams of Collective Consciousness, which is a weekly YouTube live stream series that really delves into fashion, politics, and modern social issues on a bi-weekly basis. So there's a lot of things happening, but I really do want to focus on Susty Talks. So just to explain, the mission of this podcast is just to really create a good online space that drives positive change and empowers action. It's really needed nowadays. We really need to move towards sustainability. We need to make that more accessible and just be relevant to everyone. So it would be so awesome if sustainable fashion could go mainstream, but I'm just one part of that you know, solution. And just to clarify, this is a very self-funded initiative. I'm literally filming in my room. Um, and yeah, if you want to support my initiatives, I have a eBay where I upload really cool, in my opinion, really cool secondhand vintage items. So the link will be in my description if you're watching on YouTube. If you're listening on Spotify, it'll be um, in the links. And you can also look me up on sustainablemore.com. And I also work on like Mexican artisanal collections, but that's like a long-term project. But one of the things that I noticed that really inspired my podcast is that I rarely hear podcasts just be very genuine and real about sustainable fit fashion. It's very much a topic that I feel like people think needs to be very expert based. So I really want to come in and offer a more relaxed and honest, a chill atmosphere, mostly unedited content. So one to like one and a half hours of just like really genuine, authentic conversations. Sometimes I'll jump on by myself. Sometimes I'll have guests. But the plan is to release new episodes every month. I think as I get more guests and more interest, I'll have more guests on. Um, more episodes will come through because of that. And yeah, the podcast will be available on Spotify, on Apple Music called Sussy Talks. And then on YouTube, it'll be under my channel called Sustainable Amor. I guess the general goal is to like touch base on what's happening. Like I said, like we need to stay informed. And I think offering insights and perspectives that are often overlooked is so important. And the guests will, will talk from their own lived experiences and we'll delve into like ethical fashion, environmentalism and social justice and just allow each other, you, me, everyone, to learn from diverse experiences and viewpoints. So I really have made a very intentional approach to how I get guests on. For the podcast in general, though, I've been very intentional. Like, I've been planning this podcast for months. Um, I really thought about it in very specific detail. I'm speaking very slowly and very intentionally and very carefully because I really care about this project. I've been thinking about it for years and I want to continue doing it for years and I really hope to invite people that you haven't heard of. Again, this is so important to me. It's something that I really, really care about. I don't want 
the experts. I don't want the thought leaders. I feel like sustainable fashion is often thought as this like niche topic, but I feel like we're all practicing it. Um, I had a really cool moment where a junior at a high school asked me questions about my journey in sustainable fashion. And she specifically asked me like, how can we be part of the movement? And I said, I think we already are part of the movement. Like every single one of us, if we've ever dared to reuse a piece, which I feel like we've all reworn a piece in our closet. If you've ever taken the time to care about something in our closet, if we've, you know, taken the stain out or mended it slightly in maybe a quick way, like we are part of the sustainable fashion movement. It's not abstract it's not outside of us it's not something that we need to find necessarily we just need to address it we have to make it more part of our life in terms of like our thoughts and our actions and our feelings and I was telling her like you're already here like you're already part of the change um you can continue advocating it to your friends you can continue telling people like yeah we shouldn't have a stigma around their stores like they're pretty damn cool you know so yeah i just i just really know that there's people out there that are part of the solution they just have not been heard um and it's really important to me to showcase that real change is possible in everyday situations and normal situations and that normal people like us can be part of something really great and really impactful and we don't have to do this through like formal cred- credentials or through like privileged opportunities or in different countries like a lot of the sustainable fashion things i see are through forums or like these luxury events and i and i just don't think that's really what's going to drive change forward and so i'm not really going to have people from years and years of corporate america come on um i'm not going to really have a lot of business owners per se i mean if you're a business owner that's like really cool on you but I'm not someone that prioritizes prestigious goals or like your business plans or your profit-driven goals. If you're a small business owner, that's super cool. I am too, technically. I just don't think that's fruitful anymore if we really want to drive systemic change because most of us are working a normal nine to five or struggling, are trying to figure out how to navigate everything in the few precious hours that we have. And I also, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, I just care about like a hands-on perspective and insights from lived experiences. So for example, to contextualize, like you can have all these credentials. Let's say you can have a master's in sustainable fashion, but if you're not actually doing anything with it, then what's it all for? And I don't want to sound cynical. It's just, I'm very much a practical, pragmatic person. And I always love to see people who are actually doing the work. One great example is Radical Clothing Swap, I think they're called. Um, They're a Los Angeles group that does free clothing swaps and they're BIPOC-led, woman-led, and they're doing this every single week in their community and they're not getting paid. I don't even think they have funding from anyone. They do partner with businesses for the space, but I think those are the people that don't get spotlighted often enough Um, But they were recently in a Los Angeles article, and it's really great to see. But I think podcasts and other people in sustainable fashion in these spaces need to talk to each other versus just being like picking the same handful of people that are often only highlighted. So there's just a lot of like clicks, I guess you can say, within these spaces. And it's just like leaders in corporate America and business interest even within sustainable fashion i also come from a background of activism so i always love to hear people when they have a real grassroots approach to what they're doing in terms of sustainability efforts or social justice efforts versus these almost normalized white privileged profit constrained takes on fashion i was talking about and to give more context of who i am i will be the host um I will be bringing a lot of raw and personal takes on issues that I'm passionate about. I'm a Latina who is very unfiltered. I have a lot of insights for my own life and I have a lot of strong values. I think I made it pretty clear, but I'm very like unapologetically biased. I do tend to have socialist ideals and I do lean to the far left. And if you know me in my personal life, I'm always 
talking about the things that I'll be talking about in the podcast. This is not something I, I'm doing for show or for money. I've always been someone that's very openly critical of capitalism, of racial issues, social issues. I'm always thinking about the racial dynamics and things. I'm always considering policies and ideologies and how that is reinforcing inequality and marginalization. I was raised in a frontline community, exposed to truck pollution, um, plant pollution, factory pollution. A lot of the people that I know are subcontracted at factories. And this is not a sob story, it's just I come from the reality of environmental racism and exploitation. And I am someone that is living in the climate crisis, the social issues that I'm talking about. This is not a concept for me. This is not me theorizing about the world. It's me like living it and trying to understand it and trying to grapple with it with others without trying to lose my mind. I do have a lot of stories from my past work in activism. I have been an environmental justice activist. I've been a tenant union community organizer in Montana. I've been a sustainable fashion advocate for a global NGO. I want to use those, experience, those experiences to better connect with others um, who hopefully, like me, are questioning the systems at play, the systems that we're living in. And so, yeah, as a ghost, as a ghost, <laughs> as a host, I will also dig into my own lived experiences. I am not going to be unbiased. I'm going to be the exact opposite. I'm going to be biased, especially because I've never really had spaces to be heard or to have a seat at the table. I'm going to explore aspects of marginalized communities that are often talked about just by like white people. So I really do want to bring on people that are like BIPOC and low income, hopefully from urban areas like me, but with that hope of changing our reality, of changing the, 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 the narratives that have been placed on us. And the podcast is not going to be perfect. I stumble over my words. I say the wrong things. Sometimes I believe the wrong things. I am not perfect. Just because I have these ideological leanings, I'm still on a learning journey. I think I can still be more radicalized. I can be more honest. I can be more true to creating change. But I think what's super clear to me and what's super important to me is being authentic, being real. And where I'm at in my life is calling me to be on this podcast where I don't take any corporate sponsorships, where I have conversations that are free of profit motives, that are reflective of hope and a sense of moving forward together. Um, a bit more context of me, I am a, an imperfect vegan, I'm a supporter of clean beauty, and I do my best, I do my best to buy everything secondhand. I'm very introverted. I, I think I come off a little bit different in my podcast versus my YouTube videos because in my YouTube videos I like put on this like show I guess you can say and talk very fast and like I have to hone in on information but on this podcast I'm just a little bit more I guess me like emotional reflective intentional I guess you can say this is like the real me online yeah I'm excited about this podcast a little bit nervous especially because I'm like being myself and also because I'm taking on this challenge without really knowing how to do a podcast I've never done a podcast I'm recording on this thing and I don't even know if it's capturing the audio right but I'm just winging it if you're listening thank you so much I think you know me in person or through things that we've done in the past so feel free to share with your friends and family but mostly I think a podcast can really become a connection point to different people different realities and it can allow us to move beyond our bubbles and create space for more meaningful things to happen and yeah so I'll be working on this alone i'm in charge of all the creative direction all the production all the hosting so i'm open to constructive feedback i am very sensitive so make it constructive um let's make this journey together let's grow together let's learn together let's hold space for conversations together so if you're interested in coming on and you're listening don't be afraid to reach out it's again sustainable mode at gmail.com um so reach out and then i just really want to hone in on the last part here is that 
at the core, I hope Sustainy Talks is more than just sustainability. I want it to be a way for us to speak on issues about fashion, about ethics, about environmental justice, about social issues. And by featuring diverse voices, the podcast will illuminate the interconnectedness of different fields and the broader connections between discussed topics. It will also allow me to remind you that we can all play a role in the future that we want. So yeah, I invite you to see sustainability as an evolving practice where it can challenge the notions of solutions and issues, where it doesn't solely have to come from "quote unquote" industry leaders or experts or specialists. Instead, I think we should just talk to each other, everyday normal people who can recognize our own power to help influence change, and yeah, that we can do this one choice at a time. And our collective journey is extremely tied together, and we will all be tied to each other as long as we're alive. And I think what better way to be the one that acknowledges these different experiences and promote inclusive, actionable solutions? So yeah, I'm just starting off in my bed with a microphone and a laptop. So. If you're interested in learning more, seeing more guests come on, feel free to subscribe to Sustainable Mode if you're on YouTube, or you can follow Saucy Talks on Spotify and Apple Music. So yes, I'm excited for us to learn together. Until next time, peace and love. Well, bye.